So here are examples of what the finished tires look like when they come off the Tina 2 printer. This printer, we're using TPU material for the tires themselves, the red tires. We're using PLA to print these wheel rims. So here's what it looks like when it's finished when these tires are cleaned up. What I've done is made this rim a 31 millimeter rim so that the X hole, the plus hole in the middle, is large enough to accommodate a standard Lego axle. That means we're gonna be able to use a motor, like this one, to drive these wheels. The thing about it is, they don't seem to print, the tires don't print cleanly. I'm going to have to cut a lot of this string using scissors, but when it's all finished, when it's finished out, it'll look like this, which serves a purpose for our make code and hardware Lego robotics cars. Okay, here's where I got this wheel design. Thingiverse. The problem with this uh, wheel is the plus hole fits the motor axle for our Lego Technics motors using make code and hardware micro bit and a power driver board like robot bit or super bit. However, this plus hole is too small for a through axle. So what I did was I took this file, download all files. I took this into Tinkercad. Now with Tinkercad, you can change the file. And so what I did is enlarged this from 30 millimeters to 31 millimeters. That enlarged the center hole, the plus hole, enough slightly that I can use both the motor axle and a through axle. Fits both of them. This is printed in PLA where the tire right here is printed in TPU, which is softer and flexible. So you get better traction if you're using TPU filament rather than PLA for the tire and PLA the hard material for the wheel. I'll put the STL files for both the rim and the, the tire on my Google Drive, and then you can see or download those files, and you'll have a rim that prints pretty well, and it will accommodate both the motor axle and a through axle. There will be more.